Hey yo, what is up everyone? PvP Gamer here and I'm back with another video. And today we are going to be just um just harvesting really. Now a few things have changed. First of all, I don't know if you noticed, but this is a bit cleaner. You probably didn't know this. The goddamn flies getting in or the cracks and alright. Whatever. But I uh, might be selling this house soon, which means I'll, I'll need to clean up all of this. But we're selling this and might be getting a new house soon. We might be getting a new shed soon. I have plans. The first thing we need to do though, before we buy a house and shed, is buy this damn plot over here so we cut down all the rest of these trees so we have more room but as for a later date and time other changes we have 67,000 that's because I've been working this truck over here pretty pretty hard she has uh, 0.3 hours on it just because it's been just sitting at the forest and really just driving back and forth with the engine off most of the time. But we did a lot of loads off off of a uh, camera here. And we also got a second mill because the dealership approached me and they're like, Hey, some dude like 50 miles away gave us the broken mill, same as uh, your old broken mill. Uh, do you want it? I'm like, sure. So now we're getting five hundred dollars an hour, which is just enough. It was another seventeen thousand dollars, same price as the other mill, but we don't even notice that because we're making outrageous amounts of money now. Not really. Two hours to make a thousand bucks, which is a lot in the grand scheme of things. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but that tractor is loud. That tractor is very loud, actually. That tractor is not as loud anymore. Now, this tractor is a definite keeper. This might end up being our front loader tractor in the future. But, you know. I am thinking about maybe get a new tractor sooner or later one of the things that I do want though is I kind of want a new combine this one's really good though so there's really no reason for me to get a new combine yet so I'm just not going to I'm going to put the money into the farm after we buy the new land, which might happen in between videos here. By videos, I mean like this video and the live stream for uh, Tree Con Thursday. We might have that new land. I don't know, it depends on how much I work in between videos here. But nevertheless. We are going to get started right away and harvest all three of these fields. So I will see you guys soon.
All right, guys. So we have that filled. Now, um, I don't know if you guys noticed there, but we've been using this comma for the entire series. You guys know that this combine, a lot of other combines too, go uh, six miles per hour while harvesting. Now, I was thinking, I'm like, am I going to need a new harvester? Well, I don't know if that's the case necessarily. I think it does need to be cleaned. I feel like mud's getting called up in the, the bearings and stuff. Like, see, like, even just look at this step. This is even, like, near the tire. And it's this dirty. So it definitely needs a cleaning. But then I'm like, maybe the header just needs a service. Because the combine doesn't need a service. It's just the header that needs a service. Maybe. maybe. If the header... If, you know, I connect up all my tools... And it says that the header doesn't need a service, well, then we're just going to have to deal with the 4 miles per hour because the new combine is going to be more than $60,000 than it was for this one. And let's hope I can repair it myself because, you know, here, class, it isn't a big, uh, big thing. So... They're more expensive to work on, they just... It's a very nice combine though. Like, it's an older combine, but... You know, I have every control that I need. It's, it's not the best turning radius, but you know, what do you expect? We'll dump the rest of this load out. We have a lot of oats that need to be uh, sold off, but not just yet. So let's go to my old workshop here. Luckily the doors open up right away. Ah yes, here we go. So, 27 days old, and the condition is your repair for $87. And, let's see, everything's still connected. Did it clean it too? No. Damn. Um, first, let, let's hope that fixed it. Because... Yeah, I'm kind of stupid for not repairing both the things at once there. Especially after the 6.7 hours that it has on it. But let's dump this in. Oh yeah, that should fix it. Hopefully I don't need a new combine. Because I did not have the funds for a new combine. There we go. And this also needs to be clean. Next time we go down to your shop, we're going to buy a uh, pressure washer. But let's just see before I throw you guys on the time lapse um, if that fixed it. And it did. Thank God. As I was about to say, there's no way I'm harvesting that big field at 4 miles per hour. But, I don't have to, so... I think the next time I'll check back in is after these two fields are done. So, enjoy.
We are just in the last little piece that is right here. It's simple, simple piece to get. And bam, harvest is done. Now yeah, we will be selling the soybeans since they are selling for a great price right now. So we'll just uh, dump this into the tractor right here. And I think this is lined up with the trailer. Yep, oh, too far. There we go. Not all this is going to fit, so the rest will just pour straight into the silo. And then we'll repair this and I guess the header again, just so it's on the same repair cycle. Should have about, it may all fit, may have a few hundred left, yeah, 500 left. I do want to expand this field, I tried going up the hill with the harvester on like even if I go up here like see how slow we're going 
So I'm going to try to, well we're going to get the sheet first, but I'm going to try to expand it just like right here, turn and then around this rock. So that'll be a lot of extra, just extra land, extra use, extra harvest, all the above, you know. We shall put this in there. The uh, silos are still going strong. It's pretty much settled in leaning right there. I don't think it's going to break any farther. We shall go in here. Repair, yes. Repair, yes. All right. Now everything's repaired. We will go and put the header back and put the combine back under cover. The header should be under cover, but it doesn't rain that much here. So I think it will be fine. I wanted to expand the canola field up and over that hill, but like I thought, because when I was making it in the video, I said I'd know my combine and I don't think you'll make it up that hill. Sure enough, I tried going up that hill, you guys may have saw that in the time lapse, it'll be going pretty fast, but you may have noticed that. That's what I was testing. Even right there, right here I thought it would be fine, but I guess it is a pretty, it's, it's a valley right here. So, kind of makes sense. But let's check the price here. Soybeans, $917. That's a deal right there. Canola is going up. We'll go and sell this and then end the video there. We did get a $500 increase during that harvest, so. Yeah. After. After we uh, sell this, I'll show you the finances just in case some of you guys are like, well, man, you went from like. 30,000 up to 67,000 like what's that all about Are you cheating bro prove that I'm not cheating you should see even the finances from the day that we bought the new stuff and yeah I will say I don't progress a lot of days when I'm not recording. So that's that's a thing you'll be able to see every every new thing, let's just say from the past like couple of days. But yeah, this tractor has been doing me so well. Oh, I'll buy a pressure washer too while I'm here. Now it's gonna be one. I found one. It's the same price, but it's like four thousand dollars, forty-five hundred. But we can actually move it. The wheels aren't welded, or they aren't fake like the the other ones that you guys know. So we will buy that right now. I think it's in here in a miscellaneous. Yep, here it is. I think I could pick it up. I'll be able to pick it up. It's just we'll place this just in case if I'm not able to pick it up. Ooh, we have seventy-six thousand. Well, that's around 70. Just in case, I'm like 100% sure I could pick it up because I have used this in a series before. Place it right there. But, 72,000. We'll look at the finances since I said we will. Today. 
35,000 from the construction cost, 6,500 property income from today. So you can see this is when, so this is the day that we bought everything. The BAM vehicle construction, we bought the new piece of land. Why is that one there? All right, whatever. Um, just vehicle running cost for the day. Oh, wow, well, it really jumped up. That's because repairs, property maintenance, obviously. Income sold wood. Here we go. So, bam, bam, bam. Both days. 30,000. Damn. So, that's that. And then harvest income. You see that, that, and that. And other would be where I would add money in. That's where you would see. Zero. So, yeah, I mean, damn. I bought that, like, late in the day yesterday. And we already made an extra 3000 from it. We should be making 12000 a day. Which is pretty damn good. So we're about halfway through the day. We're a little over and we have 6500 made today. But with that being said, hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Peace guys.